Hi, this is Kevin Annett. I'm speaking to you on March 22nd with a very important breaking news item. I'm on my way to Europe. I'm in transit at the moment, but this information is so startling and so important for the work of humanity in the International Common Law Court of Justice that it needs to be shared today. I'll read it to you. It's a communique we just received today from the International Common Law Court of Justice, the Criminal Trial Division in Brussels. The Pope and Jesuits refuse to deny criminal charges made against them. Trial to proceed, as shocking new evidence suggests, Joseph Ratzinger still wields power at the Vatican. Ratzinger and others are named as members of a child abuse cult. And this is today from Brussels and Rome. After being publicly charged with child trafficking and criminal conspiracy on March 4th and served a public summons, the head officers of the Vatican, the Jesuits and the Church of England have refused to deny or contest the charges and will therefore face criminal prosecution commencing March 31st. The announcement came today as the deadline to respond to a common law court summons lapsed on Tuesday without any communication from the primary defendants, Pope Francis, Jorge Bogoglio, Jesuit Superior General Adolfo Pachon, and Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. Their silence is very telling and extremely important legally, said Court Secretary George Dufour from Brussels today. Our prosecutor's office has the power now to proceed with its case and waive the normal examination procedure, since the defendants are not disputing the charges and are thereby tacitly admitting their guilt. The court magistrates will enter a plea of nolo contere by the defendants into the court record, and they have every right to rule against them in their absence." Unquote. This startling development occurred as even more shocking news surfaced today in Rome that the allegedly former Pope Benedict, Joseph Ratzinger, actually retains power at the Vatican, and that since at least 1962 has been a member of a child abuse cult known as the Corona Novum, or in Latin, that's the term in Latin, Corona Novum, in English it means the ninth crown or circle. Francesco Zanardi of the ITCCS affiliate Rete Labuso in Savona, Italy, said in an interview last week, quote, We know from several cardinals that Pope Francis is a caretaker figurehead who is not actually the Pope. It's all been a huge deception. Francis doesn't wear the papal ring and lives in a convent in Rome, not in the Vatican. He has given no official security and wanders about like a private individual. And he makes policy statements which the curia of cardinals then disavow. St. Francis doesn't reflect church doctrine. And all the top appointments have been Germans or those connected to Ratzinger, who continues to speak to reporters like he's still the Pope." Unquote. Meanwhile, a former member of a child abuse cult known as the Ninth Circle has stated in a deposition to the court that Joseph Ratzinger has been a member of the Circle since at least 1962, and as, as such has routinely participated in the ritual rape torture, and killing of children. Quote, the witness claims to have seen both former Pope John Paul II, Carol Watiwa, and Pope Benedict Joseph Ratzinger participate at Ninth Circle rituals held at Catholic cathedrals and in a forest grove in France, said George Dufour of the Common Law Court. This recent statement confirms the account of such a ritual involving Joseph Ratzinger made by Dutch eyewitness Tuls Nienhaus last year, which you can see at itccs.org on May 8, 2013. The court has also received evidence that the Ninth Circle cult is referred to in Vatican documents which describe how the participation of every new pope in the Ninth Circle cult is mandatory for their assumption of office. The alleged documents refer to the cultic rituals as, quote, the magisterial privilege that involves the ceremonial killing of newborn children and the consumption of their blood at circle, circle rituals. Now, this startling information is all being documented, and the alleged document itself is translated from Latin and is dated December 25, 1967. All of this new evidence has been entered into the case records of the Citizens Prosecutor's Office of the Common Law Court in Brussels. Please stay tuned for more announcements from Brussels this week, where I will be in attendance with members of the court and stay tuned at itccs.org. This is Kevin Annett. I thank you.